Hi guys! Welcome back sa aking channel. And today is a Vlogmas season na naman. And this is gonna be your first time na makikiuso ako sa Vlogmas. Ang Vlogmas na ginatawag ay yung pag-vlog from December 1 up to December 25 or 20. I don't promise na makakapag-upload ako every day kasi syempre hindi natin alam kung yung anong mga pangyayari sa bawat bawat araw pero ang gagawin ko ipe-prefilm ko na yung mga alam kong magagawa ko na and then I'll just schedule it for those dates. So yeah, I'll make sure na this videos that will be uploaded for this December or for this Vlogmas is going to be as informative as it can be para naman na ma-feel natin yung essence ng Christmas which is giving or sharing information that would help other people. So first and foremost, itong topic natin for today is gonna be how to get married in the US. And yes, I have couple of friends na Alam mo, nagtatanong-tanong na sila, paano ba magpakasal dyan? Ano ba yung mga proseso? Ganyan. So, naisipan ko na to take this video as a first step kasi the next videos is with regards to immigration processes. And it's not as solid as it can be based lang sa kung anong naging experience ko. Yun ang masashare ko. But if you wanted me to, you know, have another videos for a specific topic, just let me know on the comment section. So, yeah, let's start with the requirements. What you need to bring or what you need to prepare or what you need to consider before getting married in the US. First and foremost is your identification. Identification is very important kasi dun syempre yun yung identity mo dun malalaman kung you know your husband is a resident of the US. But then in the next requirements that I'm going to discuss I will let I will discuss further yung about sa state residency. Ayun. So it's very important that you have an ID which is a government issued. And the next one is as I've said the state residency. State residency. So kung saan kayo nakatira may requirement ba kung dapat dito ka lang sa state nakatira. No, mostly of the states, as I have researched, is, you know, the, the only requirements that they have is that whichever is the state that you prefer to get married, like for example, you want to get married to Arizona, ang requirement lang nila is kung saang court ka, if there are, kung saang court ka, plan mo magpakasal, dapat doon ka rin na, like, township or county kumuha ng marriage license mo. So, when it comes to getting a marriage license, um, I will also discuss that on the, like, a section 2 of this video wherein every state has its own county. Ang county na tinatawag is parang, kumbaga sa Pilipinas, yun yung capital natin, like, parang kung saan na, nandun yung governor natin. Yun yun. yun yung parang idea ko or parang reference ko when it comes to county. And then, under county, there's a township. Yun yung ano niya, pagkasunod-sunod niya. State, county, and then your township. And so much with that information. And then, the next one is the age requirement. So, ang age requirement for most states is 18 years old above. I think mostly talagas in halos lahat. Dapat 18 years old and above ka to, get, to be able to get married without any parent waiver. Ang kailangan para magkaroon ka na, uh, to, have, to be able to get married if you're under the age of 18 is you must have a parent waiver or a signature or your parent has to be there when you seek for your marriage license. So, that is like between, I guess, 
16 to 17 years old. And then, pagka naman 15 years old ka below, or I think 15 years old lang, most or some of the state would require you to go for a court order. So, ididinig yan sa korte bago kayo payagan to get married with that um, 15 years of age. But, I think that's the only um, l limit. Yan lang, parang 15 years old above and lower than that. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not 100% sure. And, the next one is blood tests. So, as far as I have known, na ang research ko is only Montana, Montana, which is a state, that requires a blood test for those who are under 50 years old. So, yun lang. Yun lang yung so far na nakikita ko na state na nagre-require ng blood test. And then, the rest, no, you will only need your blood test once you submit or process your immigration, but not for getting married. One more is your witness. Witness kasi sa atin is, para sa atin, yun yung mga ninong-ninang na parang ang interpretation or ang parang ano natin doon, ang purpose natin para magkaroon ng ninang-ninang is like our second parent. Parang sila yung gagabay sa inyo in times of any problem or, you know, parang sila yung mag-guide sa inyo. So, yeah. But then, ang interpretation ko naman dito, pag ang talagang purpose ng having a witness is for you to be able to, um, you know, have someone, like, prove the legitimacy or, you know, the authenticity of your relationship. Kasi, you know, they wanted to avoid uh, fraud uh, marriage. And may, may iba pang nakakaalam sa relasyon nyo. Ganun. So, when it comes to witnesses, there are some states, I think, 30 states in the country that do not require any witness. And I'm going, I'm going to flash it on the screen para makita nyo kung yung state na plan yung ikasal is one of them. And you're lucky if you don't really need someone kasi minsan mahirap din, alam mo yun, abalahin yung mga kaibigan nyo. Like, uh, absent pa sila sa mga ano nila, trabaho nila. Kasi most of the county is only open like Monday to Friday. And, okay, then the second to the last is yung about sa divorce decree. Make sure na uh, you have to bring your divorce decree before you go to the uh, municipal court. Or, I mean, before you go to your um, county. So, meaning to say, uh, there are instances, alam ko, may mga Filipinos or any countries that do, that do not really allow divorce in their, uh, you know, in their law. So, for example, na lang sa bansa natin, hindi pwede ang, ang divorce. But then, um, I have read and I have uh, known some other, I mean, I have known some friends who had done this. I'm not really, you know, I'm not encouraging everyone na, oh, kaya pa, yung pag may asawa ka sa Pilipinas, na pwede ka, actually, it's not that you are going to file a divorce, kasi nga, wala naman talagang divorce sa atin, only annulment, which will take, like, years and years before it get, um, you know, get really approved or formalized. So, ang ginagawa nila, kasi since here in the States, um, divorce is recognized, what they do is that they have, like, the husband or the future husband will have to file this, um, like, um, I don't know what type of it, like, they have to go to the court, like, in the U.S. I'm not really exactly 100% sure, pero ang alam ko, dumadaan sila sa korte dito sa USA. And then, once the court approves it, then they will have that divorce decree recognized by Philippine law, 
which is being done by most of those um like uh, parang mga may asawa nga na nagplan ng mag-asawa dito sa US. As I've said again, I'm not encouraging this kasi alam mo yun, ayoko namang mag-encourage ng broken family or uh, broken you know, relationships. So, yun lang. Pero, most um, other than that, you have to um, consult a lawyer or someone who has already done that because I really haven't done it yet. So, yun, it's important that you have a divorce decree before you continue your marriage or your second marriage in the U.S. Because kung lalong-lalo kung magpa-plan kang mag-file ng immigration papers later on, that can be, you know, reflected on your background check. So, ayun. And then, last but not the least is your um, getting a witness. Uh, and last but not the least is, I know a lot. And last but not the least is yung same-sex marriage. So, when it comes to same-sex marriage, we have a couple of states that already recognize or allow this kind of marriage. And I think, as far as I know, and I think there are only 13 states that do not allow as of now. Out of, ilang states ba tayo? Parang 56 ba? Um, whatever. <laughs> but that 13 states currently doesn't allow it. And I'm going to flash it here just so you know which one doesn't uh, really recognize it. So that you can plan ahead and go to the state which caters this kind of marriage ceremony. And yeah, so that's so much it for the requirements. And the next thing is that how was my... Um, actual process how is the actual experience that i have done um i'm going to link this on another video it's gonna be a, a part two of this video but if you have any questions just leave it on the comment and then i will do my best to answer them or you can also follow me on my facebook or instagram para you can chat with me i'm very helpful i mean very responsive naman ako lalo na sa mga may mga katanungan and i'm always very willing to help you as much as what i whatever i know wag lang sa financial <laughs> so ayan basta pag may mga tanong lang kayo just ask the question kung nahihiyamang kayo just give me a private message so that's it for this uh, part 1 and then I will see you on the part 2. I'll link ko na lang dito as soon as I have edited and yeah. That's it for today. Thank you very much.